The Millennium Drought was a big event for Northern Victoria and the Goulburn Valley and for Shepparton. Ten years pretty well of sustained winding down of rainfall into our irrigation catchments. And there was even a point of time when the beautiful lake that we have in the middle of town that you would have seen today, that dried out for a couple of years. It had a terrible impact on the psychology of the town. The town got very down on itself. We were our own worst enemy and we were projecting quite a negative self-image to the world. And at the end of all this period, our iconic fruit processing business, SPC, announced a crisis of its own. And it was considering its future and would it close in Shepparton and what needed to happen to make it stay here. So around that point of time, we were really lucky to form a partnership with Melbourne Business School. And through uh, Jody and Tabitha's work, they undertook what was effectively an evaluation of the Committee for Greater Shepparton. And the idea was, around how our activity had actually helped uh, or might have changed Shepparton's perception of itself and the concept of brand and of image and what we were saying to external stakeholders, what we were saying to the rest of the state and the rest of the country about who we were and what we thought our future should be. The work has been really important and they've come in and helped us significantly achieve things that we wouldn't have been able to do on our own. Not necessarily always because it was financial, it's just not having the capacity. For me, choosing to do an MBA was one thing, but it's a big time commitment and I wasn't prepared to take that time out for any MBA. I wanted to go to a world-class university with the best faculty staff that were available to me. So to do that also means there's a financial burden with that offer, which for me, working in a regional context, uh, would not have been possible without a scholarship. The skill set that I took from the MBA I use every day. You find yourself better able to make good decisions. One of the great things I've been able to do is in my role at the National Gallery in my first 18 months is really look at our audience segments. One example which has had a big impact on the building and our visitation is the introduction of our NGA Play Gallery not only for children, it's the young and young at heart that, that play in NGA play. By doing this it's meant that we've had a, a large surge in repeat visitation from Canberrians um, who are using this space to introduce young people to art. The Biodesign course is an elective subject offered by the Melbourne Business School in conjunction with the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Melbourne. When newborn babies are admitted to the hospitals, they require a procedure called umbilical venous catheterization. And this procedure has been performed for over 60 years. However, for the 60 years, there's been no advancement in the technology to improve the placement of these catheters and at the moment the current statistic is one in three of these catheters are actually misplaced. What Team Navi is trying to do is we have found a way to uh, accurately identify the tip of these catheters in real time during the procedure so we can help these 250,000 babies around the world who require this procedure and have them achieve the clinical outcomes that they really need. Biodesign innovation specifically, given its focus on uh, medical devices, has given me a um, whole new understanding of how difficult it can be to get medical devices off the ground and into market, but also how important they are in solving some of the biggest challenges that even a first world economy and medical settings in this economy face. I'm, you know, I'm very keen that uh, good ideas get turned into reality for the benefit of, um, of as many people as possible and that's the purpose of this course. 
So I was very interested to be involved and see how taking something that may offer a benefit can be converted through the work that these people are doing into a reality for society in general. Donations have been really important for biodesign. It's not just the money, it's also the fact that they come in and support the students and the morale uh, that it, it gives to the faculty and the students and the staff. I think that they feel, we feel that we're supported by donors that really propels the program like biodesign forwards.